Here in Connecticut, parents are still reeling from this scene. A Hartford teenager dead of a fentanyl overdose at school. Tonight, drug counselors say the problem could get even worse. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven is here. John, why are they sounding the alarm? Well, Della, we have heard it so many times lately. Not enough workers. Drug counselors say Connecticut state hospitals are so short staffed they haven't admitted any drug patients in almost a month. And the results could be deadly. The news was a punch in the gut for parents. A 13 year old student in Hartford died of a fentanyl overdose this month in school. We recognize the mental health challenges that our students are facing. Lawmakers and Governor Lamont pledged to do more. Good morning, everyone. But addiction counselors say it's lip service. They say Connecticut's two state hospitals are severely understaffed and it's hurting our kids. When mom and dad are getting high and, you know, using drugs and coming in, it's a whole nother chapter, but they pick up on this. Counselors claim Connecticut Valley Hospital in Middletown and Blue Hills in Hartford are so short staffed they stopped taking new addiction patients last month. But in a statement, the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services says admissions are open. Dima says admissions were only temporarily halted when substance abuse units were quarantined after clients or staff tested positive for COVID. Either way, advocates want the agency to hire 300 new staffers by April. Our conversation today is about life and death. And then we have an opportunity to choose life. And we here at NAMI Connecticut urge the governor, the folks at Demas, and the legislature to take immediate action before more people die or have their lives destroyed. The money is actually there for these positions, but the union says the Lamont administration simply hasn't made the two state hospitals a priority. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.